In today's video, we're talking about something that sounds really gross, but is actually incredibly good for your skin. It's slugging. So to hear more, stay tuned. Hi. <laughs> okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mary. I am 51 years old and I love experimenting with products, devices, methods, anything that's gonna help me look as young as I feel. So if you're into skincare and you're on social media at all, you have heard about slugging. It's been around for a long time. It's certainly not new, but it's gotten a lot of traction over the past year. And essentially what it is, is using a really heavy occlusive like Vaseline and putting it on your face right before you go to bed. Simple. Okay, so I'll back up a step just to talk a little bit more about occlusives and really about the types of moisturizing ingredients that most of us are using in our skincare. And if you're not, you should. The first are humectants. And those are there to hydrate the skin. Their purpose is to pull moisture to the surface of the skin. So it's pulling it from the dermis and bringing it up to the surface. And it's also able to attract moisture from the environment and it holds it there. And that's really what it's there to do is to plump and to hydrate our skin. And these are ingredients you're probably already using, like hyaluronic acid, glycerin, which is my all-time favorite, urea, as well as aloe vera. The second type of ingredient are emollients, and these are really there to soften the skin. So it's there to fill in the gaps in between the cells. So if your skin is really damaged, if it's flaky, if you have an uneven skin tone, it's going to sort of sit on the surface of the skin to smooth everything out. It's not about penetration, it sort of sits there, and it helps to kind of lock in what's underneath. So examples of emollients would be vitamin E, squalene, as well as cocoa butter. So the last are the occlusives, and this is the heavy, really heavy duty stuff that just sits on the top of your skin and locks everything in. So its purpose is to ensure that there is no trans epidural water loss. It just keeps everything in. The type of products here would be like, you know, petroleum jelly, petrolatum, as well as beeswax. So what slugging is, is at the very end of your routine, it is just putting a whole bunch of, say, Vaseline on your face and going to bed because that is going to prevent 99% of the water loss while you sleep. So the products that people use are probably already in your medicine cabinet. So I have a couple of them here, and the first is good old-fashioned Vaseline. So when my kids were small, this is what we used in America. You put this on a diaper rash, and it's there to, to sort of help repair the skin and to keep all of the moisture in. So the beauty of Vaseline is that it is 100% petroleum jelly. There is nothing else in it. This will not irritate your skin. This is hailed as sort of the king of when it comes to barrier repair. So this is something that is easy to pick up, easy to use, and will be super, super kind to the skin. The second product that most people are using these days, I can't actually get my hands on here in Ireland, and it is by CeraVe. And I love CeraVe products. I have loads of them in the medicine cabinet in the bathroom. And that is their healing ointment. And it has the same texture. If anybody knows where I can find it, please let me know. Like most of the CeraVe products, it contains ceramides, which help heal the skin and soothe the skin. And it also has hyaluronic acid to help hydrate. And then of course it has that petrolatum to lock everything in. The product that I'm using and I'm using every night is Aquaphor. And every Irish home has this. And what I like about this is the additional ingredients. It has glycerin, which to me is a holy grail ingredient. It's an absolute superstar. And it also has panthenol to help soothe the skin. Now it does contain lanolin, which I know can be irritating to some people. So if you have a lot of skin irritations, I don't know, maybe give it a try, do it a patch test. But I like it because for me, it's even more hydrating than the Vaseline. So I feel like I'm actually giving more goodness to my skin while I sleep. So when it comes to application, the best thing to do is to keep your night routine simple. Do your cleanse and then put on those products that we've already talked about, your humectants and your emollients. Make sure you're really feeding the skin with some really good hydrating ingredients. And then you just put this stuff over all of your face if you want, or just certain parts of the face that you feel need a little extra help. If you're wondering whether or not slugging is for you, it isn't for everyone. So it's not so something that everybody should run out and do. It just really depends if your skin needs it. So it's great for people like me of a certain age, mature skin, dehydrated skin, dry skin. So if you just feel an extra tightening in the skin, this is a great thing to do at night and your skin will wake up feeling fantastic. It's great if you have a damaged skin barrier. So if you've got a lot of irritation and you're trying to just get it back to normal, reduce a lot of the irritating elements in your skincare routine, put some good hydrating pieces on and put this on and, and, and it will make a difference over time. If you have winter cracked, just unhappy skin, which 
the signs of spring outside, so hopefully that's behind us at this stage. Or if you have cracked heels or elbows, it's not just for your face, it's any part of your body that needs some extra hydration and needs some extra nourishment. And this is what's often recommended post-treatment. So if you've had lasers, if you've had chemical peels, those sort of things, they're always gonna recommend some level of slugging. This really isn't for everyone, so you need to know your skin type and pay attention to it. It's not gonna be great for acne-prone skin, and it's not gonna be great for oily skin, and it, do not put this anywhere near where you are prone to milia, because it's only going to make that worse. And also, if you get super sweaty, because this is being done at night, it might make things worse. So you may want to stay away from this. Something to be considered in that menopausal space, because I know all about that. Now there are some things to note and there are some warnings. This should not be put on top of everything. It is not recommended that you put this on top of any sort of AHAs, BHAs, retinoid, any type of actives, because what's happening on underneath is intensified. So it will block all of the air out, it's gonna block everything out, which makes everything underneath work harder. That's sort of the benefit to this. So if you have retinoids, which can be irritating, blocked in, it's actually going to intensify the effect of this. So to some that might be fine, but it is generally recommended that you only have the soothing, hydrating, and gentle ingredients sitting underneath the occlusive. Okay, so here's the one downer I would say is the messy factor. So if, imagine just putting a whole sort of oil slick on your face and then going to sleep, what impact that might have on your hair, it might have on your pillow. Now for me, neither of these are an issue because I'm a back sleeper. I spent, I don't know, about a year and a half training myself to sleep on my back. So I don't come into contact with my hair. I don't come into contact with the pillow. So for me, it's not a big deal, but it's just something to be aware of if you are slugging and you are a side sleeper or a face, you know, front sleeper, just sort of what that's gonna do to the environment. So how often do I slug? Partly every night, all of it, maybe once a week. So every single night I will slug the areas around my eyes because that's where I just feel my aging is starting to show. So once I've done my entire routine, I put just a little bit around the eyes and I go to sleep. About once a week in the winter time, if I'm just feeling I need a little extra help, a little more hydration, maybe once a week I'll put it all over. So this is what I do. I start with a very moisturized, very hydrated skin. So all of my lotions and potions are on. And then I take a bit of this, I warm it up in my fingers, and then I tap it around my eyes. And I tap it first because I do not want to drag ash all on my skin. But what happens is it starts to warm up and you just find it easier to spread. And then when it comes to the other parts of my face where it's a little bit more robust, I do warm it up in my hands and start to spread it. And you do find that it starts to just melt into the skin. It's actually really, really nice going on. So yes, at the end of this process, I look like an oil slick and I'm perfectly at peace with that because I know it's doing all of this goodness. In fact, I kind of like it. So that's it guys for today's video, talking a little bit about slugging. And I know, I swear, I'm just seeing it everywhere. People are talking about it everywhere. And it's something that I've enjoyed doing for quite some time. And I just find that it does great things for my skin. What about you? Are you slugging? Do you want to slug? <laughs> are you afraid of slugging? It sounds horrible. And I really wish that there was another name for it, but essentially it's as if you've got little snails running all over your face, hence the slugging. But I love it and I will not stop it. I actually do it on my lips too. When I think about it, that's something I've done for a really, really long time. You know, I've used a lip mask every night and have done for years. So it's the same thing as putting Vaseline on your lips and just leaving it for a long period of time. So really curious to hear your thoughts. Are you doing it? Do you want to do it? Do you think it's gross? <laughs> Let me know what your thoughts, please. Cause I love when you leave comments for me down below. I do read them all and I respond to them all. So thanks for your time today, guys. If you like this video, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up and also hit that notification bell so you know that every time a new video is uploaded. So thanks again for joining today and I will see you at the next video. Bye. Okay. Okay. Is it on? Are you trying to make a point? Is it on? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you hit it. Oh. <laughs>